All right, so what's going on guys? It's Brain Twenty One. This is gonna be a little quick video, and and, and then the gameplay of this after this video. I just wanted to uh, show you the settings because I I had a, a comment saying what is your the settings that your game doesn't like, which it does by the way. It likes a little bit. It's probably my phone because sometimes it overheats. But I'll give you the settings. Um, here they here they are. System settings is the EE cycle rate underlying one hundred percent. This is normal. Disable. You can leave the uh, um, the control mode to a disable. Sorry for the background. <laughs> My mom is actually talking on the phone. Um, we don't care about that right now. <laughs> so um, you can either you can put multi-threaded VU one. It usually runs really well. Doesn't I put it on? I put instant VU one and put and you know disable that one. And then we're frame limit, of course. Graphic settings. Um, now, this is if you have the Play Store version of, of Ethers X2, uh, you can either put one times resolution or two times resolution. If you want to put 1.225 times resolution, this is not out for the Play Store yet. I will put a link below that you can uh, download Ethers X2. You just go to their website, and this is the alpha version, not the Play Store version. So, this is a different version. Um, everything is normal. Um, the hardware download mode. I the aspect ratio you can either put widescreen, auto standard four by three doesn't really matter. Um, and and F M V V M V aspect ratio is off. I if you want to put four by three or any other you want it doesn't really matter. Um, that game fixes I just put the F P U. Divide fix, multiply fix, skip MPG and I bit fix. Advanced settings are normal. Nothing are changed here except I think the centralization mode. You can put that time stretch, which is recommended. I recommend that too if you want. Um, <clears throat> CRC fix level is on automatic. Um, which I changed on actually. Automatic default. Uh, software rendering threads is three. I put three. You can either put two or three. I think it's on default, which is two. Um, this is all normal. I disable. So here I disable the integer scaling, blend, uh, blend, uh, I can't read. Blinear upscaling. Um, if you want me to enable this, I can, but I don't know. Uh, what's the point of uh, enabling these two? I just disable them. Um, I know this is, can make your 2D, I think it says it right here. Um, it's, yeah, it's add panel to the display area to ensure the ratio between pixels of the host to pixels in the console as an inch number may result in sharper images some 2D games. So, like, I believe Budokai Tenkai H2 is a, is a, 3, a 2D game, so it would make it sharp, uh, pixelated, so. Which is pretty cool. Um, screen offset, show over scan, anti blur, everything is like literally normal. <clears throat> I didn't change anything at all. I think I added threaded presentation so it can um, uh, get a little bit more performance for the Vulcan. If you don't want to use OpenGL, use Vulcan. Usually, a lot of people say Vulc Vulcan runs better than LPGO, which I'm not sure. I don't think that's true at all. It's literally the same shit. To me, it is because I have a, a higher, you know, high end phone, and literally it runs the same shit. So uh, that's about it. Um, if you want to put all these settings, um, there they are. That's it. Now, enjoy the gameplay, guys. Subscribe, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I think I already said that. <laughs> Push notifications so you never miss an upload. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's right. I was hoping to save the best for last.
Ready? Push! You win. I give up. Now that I know how strong you really are, I think I'd better quit while I'm ahead. Gohan, it's your turn. You are one cocky little brat! Are you ready? Ready? Fight! I can see you! Whoa!
Russell Juniors, kill them as you please. Watch out! Those guys are stronger than you think! Yeah! 